All right. It's KKMS Live with Jeff and Lee here on AM 980 KKMS. More spirited talk radio. Thanks for joining us and making us a part of your days. You're driving around the highways, byways, flyways, my ways, your ways, his ways, her ways, our way. The Lord's way is really what was most important, and we do appreciate <laughs> you tuning in. I'm Jeff Shell, and thanks for listening. For over four years, I co-hosted a three-hour weekday afternoon talk show at KKMS in the Twin Cities. The show was known for our interviews with fascinating, high-quality guests, including authors, opinion leaders, and newsmakers in the areas of ministry, politics, journalism, entertainment, and education, to name a few. Chuck Colson, welcome to KKMS Live. It's nice to have you. Well, I'm delighted to be with you. George Foreman. It's nice to have you, George. What's the deal with Don King's hair? <laughs> <laughs> Take all his money and it'll, it'll go down. Joining us now is Franklin Graham. Welcome to KKMS Live, Franklin. It's nice having you. Hey, thank you. Great to be with you. And I'm Jeff Schell. Our next guest is one of the most quoted people regarding what is happening in the church these days. Welcome to KKMS Live, George. It's nice to have you on the show. Good to be with you. So, as a formal journalist, what would be the first question you would ask yourself then, as mayor? Now you'd ask yourself, why are you such a great mayor? Yeah. Yeah. How did you really get this good? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) What does it take to be a good mayor like you? Some of the topics that I've researched and discussed over the years include apologetics, providing practical details about how to effectively defend the Christian faith. Have you ever asked someone if they believe that Jesus physically died and came back to life three days later. Could you provide evidence for them to consider this? How do you know there is a God? Well, that's uh, that's a good question, isn't it? What is the most significant part of apologetics in terms of the things that you've studied are most effective in helping people to believe in who Jesus Christ is? Well, I think it comes down, a good question, I think it really comes down to the core, which is the resurrection of Jesus. I'm fascinated with Bible prophecy because I believe it validates God's Word and can also be used for effective outreach because many people are very curious about Bible prophecy. I'm also interested in talking with those whose opinions differ from mine. It's through these exchanges that we can better understand one another, which can then lead to a relationship, hopefully, with Jesus Christ. August Berkshire is the president of the Minnesota Atheists. Nice having you. Well, thanks, Jeff. Representative Els, were you born into a Muslim family? My family is Catholic. My brother's a Baptist minister. The family I grew up in uh, allowed everybody to um, explore spiritually. I like to have a truly open and honest dialogue about racial issues. As Christians, we should be leading the way toward racial harmony. I think it's important to discuss and understand Islam, because while the vast majority of Muslims are peaceful, there are some, quite obviously, who are turning to terrorism. So why is that? And how do you reach the average Muslim for Jesus Christ? When it comes to discussing politics, rather than generate a polarizing discussion, I believe it's important to provide an understanding of the political issues facing us these days and their potential impact on us. I strive to provide consistently compelling content and to do it in an entertaining way. The Senate voted to apologize for slavery on June 18th. That was of this year. The House apologized last summer. I'm reading something from CNN here. Uh, Jeff, can but, I ask a question? Yeah. Who, who did they apologize to? You. <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> they didn't call you up? No, they didn't. Call, they should have called everybody. Well, see what I'm saying? You didn't even know I about this. I didn't know this. about this. What's up with that? I got to ask some of the other brothers. <laughs> Lee and I are always open for dinner at the governor's mansion. You can always consider that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ted. <laughs> well, as we say, we'll take that under advice. <laughs> <laughs> Headlines were awesome. I got to get a copy of it. You have me rolling in my car. Well, finally in the news, I've run into this situation before, and how do you tell a guy they stink? You do it like this. You stink! Or... You stink! Or... He stinks, and I don't like him! Those are a few ways. (laughs) I also think it's fun to talk about what's happening in the entertainment industry. I'll provide a review of movies. I like to talk with comedians and actors as well as musicians because they bring a unique perspective to life. I try to promote positive role models who will share their Christian testimony. Welcome to KKMS Live, Chuck Norris. Oh, thanks a lot, you guys. It's a pleasure to be on your show. You know, it's a pleasure meeting you as well. And uh, I just got to ask you off the top here, do you get a kick out of uh, Conan O'Brien uh, and the way he uh, jokes about you and you know, things that he does? <laughs> and, and it's okay, it's only got four chords in it, no big deal. Mm-hmm. And so, okay, let's do it. So we pushed the red button and recorded it in one take. Wow. And, and I wanted to redo the vocal track because, because I'd, I'd uh, lost, and there's a place in the song where I go, ah, you can't twist the truth. And the reason I went, ah, is because I lost my place in the wrinkly paper, you know, with the words on the paper. <laughs> I'm going to go to that part of the song and listen to that. That is funny. Just contemplating, I can't twist the truth. I can't twist the truth. It knows no regulation. 
Currently, the broadcasting industry is competing with content now available on iPods and streaming on the Internet. But a live talk show provides a competitive alternative because it enables caller interaction with the experts and the opinion leaders of today regarding current events. This leads to a dedicated audience who will support the station and its sponsors. One of my daily objectives is to impact the listeners so that they come away thinking they're better for having listened to the show.